Hey, for Coach Tip Tuesday, I want to talk to you about successful meal prepping and some tips that can help this be a long-term strategy for you. So we do meal prepping, one, to make sure that we have those healthy options available for us all through the week when we get really busy. Um, the first key that really helps this be something that you can hang on to long-term is to not try to do it all in one day. Um, as a busy working mom, you know, I'm already trying to see my family as much as possible and the weekends is really when we spend our time um, doing fun things together. So I don't want to spend all day Sunday in my kitchen alone making food for the week, even though it's really important to us. The way that we tackle this is by getting ahead and doing bits and pieces um, in the days leading up to Sunday when I'm doing the, most of the cooking. So on First, number two is make a plan, make a menu. So what do you want to have? Pick maybe two dinners um, and maybe a, a protein that you want to have cooked and ready to grab the next week. Just kind of map it out and have an idea where you're going. Um, make your list. So that's Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, make your list. Saturday, I'm either going to the grocery store or what I've been doing lately is going online and ordering my groceries. Many grocery stores or Instacart have very low fees for having the groceries delivered to you. So not only am I adding, I'm gaining time on a Saturday with my family, um, but also the price of the delivery is often offset by being able to watch your total in your cart and kind of not grabbing some of those emotional or taste driven purchases when you're in the grocery store. It's really easy to pass the cookie aisle when you don't even have to walk by the cookies. Um, so I have, I'll either order my groceries online for delivery on Sunday or Saturday night, whatever works for my schedule best, or I'll head out to the grocery store and pick some things up on Saturday. And then Sunday morning, it's kind of where does the um, cooking fit in? Making two dishes might take me two hours. Um, sometimes you can wake up early, you know, get some things going before the rest of the house is um, up and moving, or you can save it for the end of the night. Maybe you're making your dinner and you're prepping a dinner for later in the week, um, in the evening. So that kind of spaces it out so that it's maybe an hour or two hours at a time. It's not monopolizing your whole day. And so it'll just become part of your routine. You won't feel kind of like you're missing out on the key family time, which is where a lot of us, you know, want to put our effort on the weekends. So if you want some more information about how to do some meal prepping and meal planning, please reach out to me. I'm Jessica at CrossFitRenaissance.com. If not, look for more tips this week on getting those meal prepping ideas going. All right, take care, guys.